yeah, gee, what are we talking about today? All right, guys. So um, we want to <laughs> just like restate for you guys what <clears throat> we have already released or are about to release, like literally this month, and get you guys up to date on it. Um, because these are things you're getting right now or you have already gotten. And, you know, Barry and Gabe are going to take you through some of the tooling from a training perspective. And I want to kind of just give you guys the latest and greatest from an update perspective. So you guys know. Um, and, uh, you know, we've sent you emails. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I know that we, we look at the open rates. They're fairly low. They come from my local support. So, it, you know, we're going to send you another email after this. So just watch out for that email because there's some stuff you need to register for. And um, so just be aware of that. Now, before I start this, just as a FYI, um, you know, we are doing just crazy, crazy stuff behind the scenes on the customer service side to improve customer service in 2022. Um, you guys would not believe how much work is going on there and how much it's going to improve. Like, I think everyone on this call is just like absolutely ex so excited and bonkers about it. Uh, we're going, we're doing like a whole summit next week and all this kind of stuff. So the reason I bring this up is because in February, all of you guys are going to get a call from CS and account managers just to check in on how you're doing. But in addition to that, Twilio, and this is really coming from Verizon and T-Mobile and uh, whatever other carriers are out there, <clears throat> they want to increase the deliverability rate while reducing spam um, across all texting. So this is going to help you guys with getting deliverability, with more responses from Raya and all that kind of stuff. But they require for every phone number that we send out, that we associated with your business. So we're gonna need your EIN number, a bunch of information in order to register you as a business associated with all of your Twilio phone numbers. And we'll email you about it. You can fill out a form, you can talk to a live rep, like whatever you wanna do. But by the end of February and early March, everyone's gotta do it. And if you don't do it, Twilio is just not going to deliver your text messages, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of like carrot and stick here. Like, you know, it, the benefit is you're going to get higher deliverability. The stick is if you don't do it, none of your texts go out. <laughs> so um, I just want you guys to all like know that is coming and to watch out for that phone call and watch out for that email message that we send out. The best, best ideal is you fill out the form that we sent to you, right? Because that's going to have everything that we need from you in order to register you. If you want to do a live, that's totally fine, but we got to get it done, right? So <laughs> that's- hey, G, I want to make sure there's been a bunch of chatter already, and I want to be very clear and have you address it. A lot of people in other CRMs, but they're talking about follow-up boss. Uh, has recently had a lot of people do this, but that's really yes. only for their follow-up boss probably. This yes. is going to be for different numbers, right? Yes. So your follow-up boss phone number is your follow-up boss phone number. That's where you're texting from, from follow boss, right? Raya is coming from a different phone number and Raya is what we are registering for you, right? So, I mean, a lot of you guys are familiar with this because like I know follow-up boss did a big pop-up and you filled out all this information. We need the same thing from you. That's, that's, you know, that's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. So we need the same information from him, from you. Ideally you fill out as a form. If you want to do it live, we can do it live during our check-in call with you. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to get into it about, and, and guys, just as level set, like this is stuff you are getting in January. <laughs> you know, I'm not, like we're going to talk about a couple of small things that we're in beta on that you're going to get sooner, like, you know, in the next couple of months, or you have, I have the option to sign up, but by and large, what I'm going to show you is what you already get. Right. 
So the first thing is Google local services ads. So we have been doing Google local services ads for you guys since January of last year. Um, we have about a 1,200 clients or so on it. So, you know, if you're not on Google local services ads, and by the way, you don't have to do a worldwide Lopo, but if you are just not on it in general, you've got to get on, you know, on average for the clients who are on Google local services ads, you get six phone calls per month, six to seven. And these are people who are typing in top realtor in Santa Monica, clicking on an advertisement and then calling you, you know, so you can't get a better lead than this. And there's obviously you're going to see there's things that we do on the Wailopo side that will make your life a lot easier and save you money. But either way, whether you do a Wailopo or you do it yourself, you've got to do it, right? So I, I, I just want to put that out there um, as like <laughs> kind of like an FYI, um, you know, and I won't go into this, but, you know, like bottom line is not only is the lead high quality lead. But Google only charges you money for it if the phone call actually connects to you for 30 seconds, right? So if, you know, if it's a random call or whatnot, then you don't even get charged money for it. And, you know, this is a whole separate problem. We'll talk about in a second. If you miss the call, you don't get charged for it either, right? So it's very cost effective. The second thing is, we're finding that about 50% of the calls are irrelevant. They are property management. They are spam calls. They are rentals. All of those are refunded to you. You know, you don't get charged money for those, right? So you only legitimately pay for, and this is the only channel period that's out there in digital marketing that will refund you actual dollars for bad leads, right? So just like, in general, you know, like get on LSA, do it through Ylopo. If you, and I'm gonna explain why. <laughs> you know, ridiculously cheap because we just want you guys to do it. Um, but do it through us or don't do it through us. Uh, get on it, right? So, here's the problem with Google LSA, right? Like it sounds a little bit too good to be true, to be honest. And there are problems with it, right? The first is you need to manually review every single lead in order to get credits for it. So if you're a team and you send every lead out to your entire team, which I assume most of you guys do, you need to give them your access to your Google ads account in order for them to go and get a credit. And by the way, there's trigger keywords and there's ways to get credits that if you are not familiar for how to get credits, you're going to get a lower credit amount, right? Because Ylopo has a master access to all of your accounts with Ylopo, and this has been true for everyone who's on the Ylopo platform, right? We will listen to every single call and our team is actually going and disputing all of the bad calls for you, right? So we're getting you about a 50% credit rate on all of the leads that are coming in, right? So that's like kind of pain point number one. The second is, and this is very important, phone calls come in at random times, right? We are seeing for our clients only a 52% pickup rate on these calls. These are the best leads you can get. And the average agent picks up 50% of the time, right? Now, not only is that problem from a pickup perspective, but Google punishes you from an algorithm perspective if you don't pick up. Like you can imagine from Google's perspective, their worst case scenario is consumer types in top realtor in Miami and they call three people and none of them pick up. And they're like, I'm never going to do this on Google again, right? So you need to have a 85% pickup rate in order for you to get to the gold standard. Now, I, I, like I said, 52% of calls are picked up. So for 98% of our clients, this is not happening, right? This is just metrics from Google. So we actually built out what we call Raya Live, which is our own unique 
Wai Lopo call center. We will take every single inbound call from LSA to our call center, right? And we're going to basically handle all the calls for you. We're staffed to basically answer like 95% of all calls coming in from a time perspective and all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, you're going to go from 52% to like 85 to 90% right away with our call center, right? And what's nice about the call center is like they're, um, you know, if it's a bad call, they're going to get you credited right away. And we're hot transferring today. I think something like 18 to 20% of all phone calls coming through. So you're getting like LSA calls all answered for you and you don't have to worry about it. And one out of five times when it's a phone call, it's a legitimate, our call center is just transferring to you, right? Like hot transfer to you, right? And you're going to see like, we're charging you very little money for this. And again, the reason is because this is like, you know, like, like the best possible leads you can get in the industry. And we just saw this and we said, 52% of the calls are getting answered. We got to get that to 85%, right? So that's why we built this inbound call center um, for you guys. Um, the third thing is leads coming in are not displayed in your CRM right? So they're just phone calls coming in, right? And so for the vast majority of you who don't have call action and all the kind of stuff, like you just have to depend on your agent recording the call in your CRM in order for it to even show up, right? And so what we've done is every single call that comes in, we directly send it to your CRM. We set it up on white level stars. We set it up on remarketing. Everything's ready to go, right? So if your agent talks to them, you, you know, and by the way, we're hot transferring these leads, right? They just need to set up the listing alert based on what the consumer is looking for and you're set, right? So like that is another pain point that we're solving. The, 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 the GMB and reviews part is also important. You know, the, the reviews are no question the most important part, right? Like if you have a thousand reviews versus three reviews, you're going to get more phone calls. That's the way it is, right? But um, your GMB page is like someone clicks on your your profile, what's going to show up? It's your GMB page stuff, right? So that needs to be optimized and we do all of that for you. And if you want to see what that looks like, I don't have time to show you guys what that looks like. Go type in you know, Barry Jenkins, Realtor, Virginia Beach, and check out what Barry has, right? And if you have a marketing director that's doing it for you, fantastic, A plus, right? What we've seen, very few agents have it optimized, right? So that's why we're providing that as a service. Now, I'm going to jump ahead real fast. We're doing all of this for you, including the call center piece for 99 bucks a month. That's it, right? Cause like we want everyone to have it. It's just like a no brainer, you know? And if you use the call center, you don't use the call center because of everything we do, we're going to charge you $99 a month for it. And there's a lot of you are already on it today. And we're going to start charging you. We haven't charged you for a whole year. We're going to start charging you in January. Right. But my recommendation for all of you guys is sign up for the call center. You're already paying for it, you know? And like, we transfer the calls for you and we give you the discounts for the rest. Like we get credits for the rest. There's just like really no reason for you not to do this unless you are a team that has a 85% follow-up rate, which I can tell you out of 1200 clients is like 50, <laughs> you know? Well, so, yeah, I think we, oh, go ahead, Barry, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that this actually, uh, the call center, I think uh, is a part of you growing your LSA, because, you know, if you're getting a lot of spam calls and you're not answering them because they are spam calls, that still works against you. So it becomes this like, you know, carrot, like you were saying, it's like this horrible. But what I found was when I started having uh, the call center answer the calls, um, my rating went up and I started to get more opportunities because now I'm always getting answers. And I've spent four months training this call center yes, to, to respond to uh, 
all the weird, you know, we, we get a lot of weird calls as real estate firms, like really strange nuances. And I'm helping them navigate through, I've helped them navigate through how to kind of not be rude, but also not step in a boundary in real estate that's not their, uh, not their specialty. Yeah. And they're crushing it. They know, just get them on the phone with you if they're a buyer or a seller. Yeah, I want to unpack a little bit of that because I mean, the comments went crazy. So I want to make sure we're answering a few questions here, right? So let, let's just address the spam thing, right? Let, let's face it. Anytime your name, phone number, any information is on Google, you're going to get sales and spam calls. We can't stop that. That's fine. But all the more reason, like you said, is well, do you want to sift through those or do you want somebody else for 99 bucks a month, making sure you're getting all the answer calls, filtering out all the, let's just call it crap. And then the, the legitimate ones, they're going to transfer through. Those are the only ones now that your phone's ringing for a live transfer or the legitimate one. So you're getting the higher answer rate and not having to filter through any of that. And that's outside anybody. I don't care if Lofo's doing it, uh, XYZ company's doing it. You're going to have sales and spam calls because it's just the phone number's published, right? So it's going to happen. Now, a few of the questions that came in a few times, uh, what's the number they call from? Uh, that's going to be determined on how you have it set up, right? I know Barry does the call action. I use my follow-up boss number. So I know every time that the call center is calling with an LSA transfer, I know it's them. And it can still ring everybody on the team. And then that's going to lead to the next question that kept getting at, how do we know in the CRM why Lopo is pushing the lead? Once the answering uh, service is getting it, they're grabbing that lead information, entering it, pushing it into the CRM uh, and the lead sources, I believe it's Ylopo LSA, correct? Ylopo LSA, yep. so, so you know exactly who's got it. So they're getting answered, they're filtering out all the crud so you're not dealing with it, and they're pushing the lead into the CRM with the lead source uh, so that you can track it. Sorry, there are a bunch of questions came in hitting those three, yeah. so I just wanted to address all no, of no, them. No, 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 you're, you're totally right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I'm i sorry, I can't actually see the chat messages what I'm okay. sharing, so I can't there, see. There were the also, messages. is this available in Canada yet? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It is not available in Canada. Now, we're doing a ton of things for Canadian clients. You're going to see this in here. Like, you know, and, and by the way, like, just so you guys know, we're, we, we are all about Canada. Like we think about Canada all the time. We're going to get a realtor in residence from Canada to talk about Canadian clients needs. <clears throat> like we're doing the whole thing. Right. Um, but this is not our call. Like this is Google's call and they just have not activated it. They have promised this for us for a year and they just haven't done it, you know, now you're going to see what we are doing to get around this, which is going to work for Canadian clients. I'm going to show you in a second, right? But Google LSA does not exist for Canada right now. And as soon as it happens, need you to I'm going to email all of you guys. Yeah, please start my video. All right. Uh, hey, Barry, real quick. Yeah, you got him. Sweet. Go ahead, Gene. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Okay. So let me go back to the original slide. And then let me let me let me talk to you about what what we're doing next. So, I have yet to hear of a, a client who gets Google LSA and says to me like, "Oh, I'm only spending three hundred bucks on it, and I like to spend one hundred fifty five." The conversations I'm getting are like, "I'm I can I'm getting seven phone calls." how do I spend an infinite amount of money to get as many leads as I can possibly can from this, right? And the problem is there's just, there's competition first off, but second, there's just not that many people in the country typing in top realtor in Miami. Like think about it, how many people are actually doing that, right? So the volume of people looking for homes for sale in Miami versus top realtor in Miami is probably like one, to 500, right? So you're just not going to get a lot of these phone calls. It's just the nature of it, right? Um, but we're going to solve that for you. And this is something we're going to release in that June time frame where we have beta clients on it today. We're not enrolling anymore. We've got plenty of beta clients. Um, when we are ready to enroll more, we will email you guys, you know, so don't worry about it you're going to hear from us. But bottom line is we're going out there on Google and Facebook and we're advertising for phone calls, right? So imagine a Facebook ad that just says your 
new homes for sale in Santa Monica. This home will sell in six days. Here's all the photos for it and click to schedule a showing, right? And guess, guess what? We're getting these leads right now nationwide for $12.50. These are actual phone calls coming in, right? So like our only limit right now is honestly our call center staff or else we would get way more people on this. And trust me, we're getting a ton of call center people together, right? Jay, now, there's a there's a lot of questions. I'm gonna like yeah. you gotta take a break for a second here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. sorry. First guys. off, overarching couple overarching things. One is I'll be candid, guys. G and I never wanted to get in the call center business. We're a marketing technology company. And over the years, G and I have been on a long journey. And over the years, right, that last mile, you know, it was like that last mile, that lead follow-up mile, like we're now starting to try to, to sort of answer that, right? And we started with lead generation. And then we went to lead nurture, keep them coming back, keep them coming back, dynamic remarketing, um, dynamic listing alerts. Then it was lead communication, like AI, Raya, automatically give you a digital ISA for 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month, right? Automatically communicate. Now it's literally, okay, we're throwing up our hands and we kind of went into it really because we had to, because, because y'all were getting punished by 50% answer rates. And so we're like, we've got to do this. But here's the silver lining. Even though we sort of never really wanted to do it, now we're all in. And the ideas are going crazy with where we could take the call center and go from three people to 30 people to 300 people to who knows how big we can take this thing and who knows where we take it. Like right now it's all inbound, right? But it could be a texting center. It could be people picking up your riot conversations. Like I want to promise anything, but like the ideas that Barry and Gabe have on this thing is really crazy, right? Yeah. And so if you ever said to me like, hey, I can give you like a personal assistant for a hundred bucks a month, I'm in, you know, like, are you, are you nuts? Like I'm in and they can wait through all these awful calls that people selling me stuff and renters and all this stuff. And man, I get one listing that I sell and I paid 1200 bucks the entire year. That's all I got. Like I'm a winner, right? But it's gonna go. It's gonna go much, much farther than that, and um, we have to, you know, we we have to evolve. We have to get better and better and better at it. But it is it is literally taking now control the complete digital marketing solution from lead gen to lead nurture to lead communication to now being able to analyze. And there's other. I'm not gonna steal the thunder, but like like see how you all are doing on follow up, right? grade everybody on follow-up and also have a follow-up solution, right? So, so anyway, uh, hopefully that makes sense where we're going at a very, very high strategic level. Uh, but gee, there is a ton of questions. I don't know if you've been, if you want me to read them out or if you've been seeing them, but they want to know. I can't, like, I can't see the okay, questions. So, so yeah, so let me, I'm going to reel off a lot of questions here. Um, and I'm clearing so, off a lot of the ones we already answered, Howard. I'm trying to go through there and clear them. We answered a bunch of these. Okay, well, but the questions are, yeah, it's for everybody. Like, will it work for a team? At some point, can you can you be able to answer Zillow and Realtor.com uh, Realtor yeah. calls? Let's let's go really quick, really quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So um, we are not conversion monster. You know, we are not going to go and call all of your calls, all of your leads, right? Like, that is not the purpose of our call center. Our purpose of our call center is inbound right? Like we have figured out how to generate. And by the way, these Facebook click to call ads, how many we can generate is like 10 to 20 X what you get for click to call over LSA, right? That's why the whole point we're doing it. You only get six or seven LSA calls. You're going to get like, if you wanted to a hundred, you know, click to call ads or click to call phone numbers, right? Or, or calls. I mean, so Hills. our, our whole you know, it, it, like Barry can tell you, I mean, it's just blowing up for him. Um, he's our guinea pig for everything. But, um, you know, uh, all look, 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 let's be very clear. down into look, our dude, look, Let's be very, we're confusing. Google LSA is a click to call type of lead, but it's very limited in volume. We now are going to do click to call ads for Facebook and for Google, and it's going to go big 
So that's why we got to go big with the call center. Okay. Now you're disagreeing with me with a, like a little bit, like you're agreeing, like right now, this is all inbound, all inbound. All, we're going to be all inbound for a while, but I'm never throwing out the ability that we can start doing some stuff, even with texting or whatever, proactively to help our clients save time, watch conversations. Yeah. You know, as we start analyzing stuff, we're seeing yeah. a lot of unattended opportunities, but anyway, let's keep going. Well, okay. Is last month here? I spent $2,000 on inbound click to call yep. and I, it generated 200 calls. And we converted 20 of them. Whoa. And I told G, I said, G, like, I don't know what you guys are going to do with the click to call product. I know that Google just launched this. It's brand new. I said, but whatever you do, I just want you to know I'm partitioning my marketing spend to focus on this because this is the, these leads, because the consumer is asking to talk to us, they are the fastest two transactions. Like we're getting them, not all of them. But more, it's, it feels like an LSA call, to be honest with you, um, because we're, use, we're, we're, just, we're answering the phone and they're like, can, you know, I'm out of town. I need to sell my home. Uh, can you get me what the home is worth? Uh, they're really good. And the call center that we are using when we train them, I said, we, I literally had them close their eyes and said, pretend you're sitting in Virginia Beach at my front desk. I'm going to teach you how I want you to act when you're sitting at my front desk. And so they're, that's how they're functioning. And it's, it's been working really well. Yeah, that, it, it, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, this, this webinar is, you know, I wanted to get to what the training part for Gabe and Barry. I, I, I was like, hey, my piece is going to be like 20 minutes long. Obviously, we we're not knew. even like a quarter. We knew that minutes. wasn't going to happen. Look, there's, um, a of, there's a lot of questions, a lot of important this questions. This is good. Yeah. Questions there, from everyone. Yeah. yeah it's good. So, there are a couple more I want to just address really quick. Ahead. I think there's some confusion. Raya Live is not Raya. So you have the add-on for Raya, right? To have Raya part. Raya Live is the answering service that is separate from the $200. So this is the answering service for the inbound phone call. So this is separate. Yeah. It's not- The, re the reason we called it Raya Live is like Raya is your digital ISA. It's a digital AI texting chatbot. Now we've got live people who are your assistant, right? You have a digital assistant, you have live assistant, right? So that's what we in the theme of Raya, which is helping you out right? Super, super low cost assistance, right? That you don't have to worry about manage. We have to manage them. We have to give them call center technology, all that stuff. That's why we call it Raya Live. It's like, she's, there's a human, there's like human assist and there's, there's digital chatbot assist. Yeah. And, and, and let me be clear guys, like we're doing a ton of stuff for you outside of the call center that is worth $99 in and of itself. But we also include Raya Live as part of that, right? So, you know, you should just get Raya Live because you're paying for the street anyways, right? Can I, can I give and, one quick example of that, G? I, don't yeah. have, I, want to, I want to relate to the other team leads out here. Uh, and this wasn't anything one of my agents was doing or trying to be, you know, go around splits or anything, but calls are coming in. They're answering on the go. She didn't enter it right away. We found it when we looked at our report. Uh, somebody mentioned to her, she entered it in like two days later, it went in as a sphere. I didn't know, <clears throat> we didn't know how it went in, right? It got counted as a sphere deal. We have different splits on sphere versus company generated. Not only the increased answer rate, they're creating the lead and pushing it directly into the CRM with that phone number, with all the information. So it's tracked. The fact that you're just not going to miss any of the legitimate leads ever because they're getting pushed in. It's worth that for the lifetime of, of having this product, right? There's just so many layers to this that are all bundled at 99 bucks. It's, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. The big, so, the big, big deal here. Again, I want to reiterate this because a lot of people are missing this is in a lot for a lot of our clients and a lot of markets, right? Barry, Google LSA is just not producing a lot of calls, right? So there are some clients who get a ton of calls, right? But Google LSA is very limited in every market. But when we unleash the beast for click to call leads, right? Now we're going to have greater volumes. And if you're already up and running on the call center, you're way ahead in the, in the game. We're yes. prepping, we're prepping for the game. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. And, and, and by the way, Canadian clients, this all works in Canada, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to wait for Google, anything like that. It's all Facebook and Google advertising, you know, and you get all of it. And look guys, I mean, I just, have to apologize. Like we have limited time in the call center and this is an invite only beta and I just can't take any more clients in it. So um, just know we are launching this in June it, to everyone. But today 
it is closed, right? So we're just telling you about it. It's very exciting, but so LSA is live for everyone. So gee, we're in alpha, right? Then it'll go yes. a little wider to beta, keep fine tuning it, keep make it better. So then when you actually get it, we've, we've got all the kinks out, yes. right? Still a lot yes. of kinks in the system. Yes. And then gee, you feel we'll go wide right in the middle of the year, end of Q2. That's right. That's right. As right. soon as our call center staffed up, we're trained up, you know, all the marketing is figured out, all that kind of stuff, you know, we'll go wide in June. And so we will invite more people to this, you know, so just look out in your emails. Um, you know, we'll talk about it in webinars when we have them. But, you know, obviously the easiest way to communicate it to you is in, the, in mission control and via email. So just watch out for it. But um, guys, you know, sign up for the call center now. <laughs> we apologize. We did not have time to make this link easy. So it's like ylopo.com, formstack.com, slash forms, Raya Live. We, we posted it in the, uh, in the chat for everybody. It, Colleen did. Thank chat, you, Colleen. But don't worry. I'm sending every one of you an email after this with the link. Right. And to be clear, so, when we're talking about this click to call stuff that's coming up, that is separate from Google LSA. You don't have to yes. do one to do the other. It's a separate budget uh, and it is available in Canada. Just make sure we're very yes, clear yes, on that. Yes, yes, yes. A hundred percent. So, um, yeah. Uh, Barry, and, Barry, was there any sense yet on like split between buyers and sellers on click to call? Is it way too early to ask that question, G and Barry? I mean, uh, I would just say it's high intent. I, my instincts were to tell you seller for the click to call, just because those are the ones we're always most excited about. But candidly, we did have a lot of people relocating to the area. Um, you know, people that were, you know, they're, they're searching for homes and then they see one out of hundred of, of uh, links and ads in Google. And one of them is a dynamic ad that says, call this number, they click it and then they get us. But, it, um, but as far as lead gen goes, a very high ratio of sellers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. But they're yeah. responding to a buyer. I mean, generally speaking, and you guys will see this, like buyer advertising generates a lot of sellers. Like obviously. Yes, it does. You know, so these are buyer advertising ads, but they just happen to be a lot of sellers just because there are a lot of sellers and buyers. Right. So, um, <clears throat> you know, Canadian clients, ton of new stuff coming where we finally found a data source that allows us to target Canada you know, so homeowners in Canada, renters in Canada, you know, likely to move, employment status, all that kind of stuff. And it's done in a compliant way. Don't worry about it. I mean, we're using like very compliant sources, but we're able to target all of those people for you. So on the Facebook advertising side, especially, it is just going to get a lot better and you should use it, right? On the Google side, just so you guys know, again, FYI, we are now able to put your face on Google advertising, right? So this is an actual ad for Mike Rennick. You know, it has his face in it and has a much higher click-through rate when you have credibility with your image on it. 80% of our clients have this. 20%, we don't have high res enough photos from you. You will get contacted from us to get high res photos. You've probably already been harassed by my marketing team, to be honest. So just like make sure you get it done because we are seeing higher efficacy rates from having your photo on there. Even right? if you're not as handsome as Gabe, I mean, you, you still get a higher, like there's not even a, uh, just because the photo stands out. What, what G is sharing right now, by the way, guys, these are new products from Google that just came out. And so you, you, nobody else is doing this stuff because they just came out. And so we're, we're early adopters and we're, we're leveraging it. And that's why marketing is about standing out. And this is yet another way in which we do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like this just came out in like September. So, you know, we, we have most of your photos, we set it up, but you know, 20%, we still need to get from you guys. Hey G, we had uh, a great, we had a great suggestion in the chat. Yeah. Um, from Andreas, can someone summarize this with bullet points and email it, please? I love the ingenuity, but a lot of thoughts being thrown about. It's, it's we get it, we're in the weeds in this stuff, but imagine you're starting from scratch, you're on the other end of this webinar and you're like, okay, what's going on, right? So let's, you know, that's our, that's our challenge post the webinar is to make this all very, very clear. 
No problem. I love we'll that suggestion, but Howard, yeah. I know yeah. we're going to talk about this later. All the more reason, guys, to come to Summit. Sorry, not like a plug, but this is why you're there face to face with us, all of us breaking out, the CS team, all of that. We're going so deep in so many of these areas where we're right there. So, not to, like, it's just true. So, right. Yeah. If you go to Summit, you are going to be with us for three days. You will be with all of us for three days. You can talk to all of us personally. It's all going to get laid out. We're going to show you exactly it's computers open. We're going to show you exactly how to do all this. Um, and so it, it's going to be transformative. It's going to be transformative yeah. for your business. First week of April, crossing our fingers that, you know, we're going to get through all this shit right now. I'm going through it right now. Um, but wouldn't miss this webinar for anything. Um, and uh, hopefully first week of April, it's, it's, it's all good, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's keep 100%. going. Okay, let's keep going. So, um, you know, Home Search 2.0, you've been hearing about it for two years. 95% of our clients are already on Home Search 2.0. Um, there's last 5% remaining because of IDX compliance requirements. So you're going to get there really soon. And I won't belabor the point, but I, I, we have a temp team of like 10 engineers that's just working full time on Home Search. So there's just a ton of new stuff that's going to come down the pipeline for Home Search. Now, you know. I want to get to the stuff that Barry and Gabe is going to train on in a second, but I want to talk to you guys about dynamic registration, right? So most of you guys on the webinar hopefully have heard of what we're doing here. And by the way, by the end of January, early Feb, everyone's going to be on dynamic registration, right? So this is not like, again, you know, you're going to get this in six months or whatever is the case. Like we just have to, like we're launching 20, 30 clients a, a day. Everyone's going to get it, right? The idea behind it that's revolutionary is consumer clicks on, sees your ad, they click on the ad, they come to your home search website, they look at listings. And as soon as they look at listings, registration form comes up, right? Old school registration form is, it's a gate, you know, like, I show you a listing in order to see this listing, you have to give us contact information, right? So we ask you for your name, your email address, your phone number. Maybe we ask you some questions, but you don't have to fill those out. And by the way, this registration experience, if you look at every other platform that's out there, they're doing the same thing, you know? And what we basically said is we said, let's reimagine the idea behind registrations, right? And say, you know, instead of asking the consumer to give us a gate of information, let's just take them deeper into the home search experience. Let's actually be concierges. Like this is what you guys would do in person, right? So we take the consumer through a registration flow where we ask them, do you need to sell before you buy? And why, by the way, with dynamic registration, depending on the questions you answer, we are going to ask you different questions, right? So if you say, I need to sell before you buy, we ask you, what type of home are you selling before you buy? When was this home built? What is the size of your home? What is the estimated property value? If you say, no, I don't need to sell before you buy, we ask you, what is your preferred price range? How many bedrooms, baths? All that kind of stuff. For you guys who are already on dynamic registration, you will notice all of these questions that we ask, right? And we right now, on in the average consumer, we ask 12 questions, 12 questions before they register, right? So by the nature of like lead quality, if you ask zero questions and you ask 12 questions, 12 questions is going to be a better, right? So you're going to get a higher quality lead from this experience just by the fact that these are consumers who are giving you more data, right? Now, there's a lot of improvements coming, you know, this is still an a beta, right? So like we're, you know, right now we're not scrubbing out renters. That's a big one. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're validating the data very soon. So people can't give like one, two, three, four, you know, random phone numbers and all that kind of stuff. So there's things that are coming, right? But generally this concept is pretty revolutionary. And by the way, what's nice about it is this is not just like, like, you know, this is not just us asking more questions. Like, you know, Barry will tell you, this is like not just a long form lead. And if it was just a long form lead, by the way, already really, really good for you. We built out a whole engine behind this. 
that allows us to dynamically change the form anytime we want. Like between November and December, we modify the form like 17 times, you know? So we're always looking at the stats to see how we can get the performance up, right? And, and also you can customize the form. You can do a bunch of stuff, you know, registration experiences. I won't go through the details, but here's what I wanted to highlight guys. Not only is the registration going to give you more information, by the fact that you are being consultative to the consumer, more people are giving registering, right? Our average registration rate with, without dynamic registration is like 8%. Pretty darn good industry-wide, 8%. Check this out right here. We're at 15.31%. That's insane. Huge. That's yeah. insane, right? Like I've never seen anything like it before, right? So with dynamic registration, you're going to get a higher quality lead. You're going to get more leads. And these people are just registering more, right? So really revolutionary concept. Now in your CRM, you're going to get a note for those who are on dynamic registration that has all of these questions. Now, one of the things that we are doing, just so you guys know, is we are making these tags, right? So um, you know, sorry, we don't have tags right now. It's new. It's just the uh, beta, but we will tag all these leads to have their answers. That way you can filter them out. Right. And one of the important things that we need to filter out is, do you need to sell before you buy right now? 12% of all leads say they need to sell before they buy. And guess what? We get their, their addresses for you. Right. So like you're going to get out of one out of five of every buyer lead, you're going to get a seller who gives you their home address to sell. Right. So again, this will be a, a that's the, I mean, I, I, I mean, that's mind blowing to me. We, we didn't expect this, but also like we will have that converted as a tag for you. Right. So we okay. only have be really quick. Sorry, just because it's blowing up. I want to catch people. So they don't turn, this is not an upgrade. This is just the new way you're doing. This is not an extra cost for people to start doing. Oh, it's, it is an upgrade. It's because it's better, <laughs> but it's free. Well, yeah, yeah, sorry. Let me read, yeah, oh. thank you. It is, there's no cost to upgrade to this. Yeah, I wanna make, because well, people are asking how much to upgrade to this. This is an upgrade. It, gee, can I share my actual numbers just to show? Sure, please. Quality, so quality, higher, quality higher, quality higher, cost will not go up. So I wanna share. Uh, my screen really quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me. Get, I'll show you some examples. So I'm just going to show you exact numbers behind scene. So look what happened. Like you're saying, seven six percent. This is my Denver market. Very competitive. Uh, better than most in the industry. Look what happened. This is our conversion percentage on, on the on the conversion rate to get people Zoom in, asking Gabe. more questions. Is it not showing? Zoom in on those. Oh, I, I can, no, I can see it. I can see it pretty yeah. well. You can see it. All right there. You go. All right. right over, over here. See it. So look at this. I mean, it it almost doubled the very first month. It more than doubled uh, yeah. in November. And look at December, which is a shitty month typically for doing. I mean, we're still at almost eleven percent. But then I want to show you one more thing. This is really cool. I'm excited about it. So I just pulled in the leads that came in, um, and I'm just looking at AB. And anybody that's heard me talk about PPC forever, and when Wailobo first started doing PPC, G and I were on the phone talking with our PPC team, I don't working on this when I was still at Firepoint. But just the A's and B's, that means less than six months, less than 30 days, 30 in the last 60 days. Uh, and if I just clear this out, just to give some perspective, 571, that is almost 6%. Within 30 days, we've already converted to an A or B, meaning they're buying or selling or both in less than six months. It's been, and we're paying less. That's what's been crazy about this. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that, your numbers. Gabe speak for themselves. And if you already listen to me say this in the Facebook live about, you know, talking about this, then forgive me, but let me just say, um, you know, in the same way that uh, as a salesperson, I accommodate the lead, right? Like I mirror their energy. I use similar, similar speech. I don't walk up to them and say, you have a home to sell, right? I, I slowly pick it up. I earn their trust. And then I slightly surface the fact that they own a home and then I get their address. So up until now, it has been a very in-your-face process. Give me your name, give me your email, then I'll let you see stuff. What we have developed is technology that actually adapts to the consumer's behavior and the way that they're answering the questions. 
And then we've pined over the words that we're using and we use data to, to basically make the tweaks. And so this is basically, we've come up with a way to have a form communicate in a way to where your lead is comfortable. Yeah. That's why we went from answering three questions. For me, it was $16 a lead for three questions. And now I know this is different in every market, but now I'm down to $8 a lead with answers to 13 questions. And it's because the person, consumer behavior has changed. This is why you buy Ylopo. You buy Ylopo because we're gonna adapt to the consumer. Is it annoying that we change quick? Yeah, but you know what? The consumer's changing even faster. And so at the end of the day, you want really good leads for not a lot of money and that's what we've done. And so this is actually not available anywhere else you yeah, can't the, get this the, anywhere else the, the theory the theory is that you know a long time ago like everything was like free information you have to register for anything and then as we started this forced registration process people got upset about it right and then it was kind of annoying and then every time you added another question people got more annoyed and the bounce rate would increase so we actually would see higher cpls lower conversion but fast forward a decade everything is forced registration right and so now when you take the time to ask thoughtful questions to get to know them consumers are like oh these guys are a little different they're not just they don't, don't like don't just want my bio information that's it they want to get to know me a little bit this will be a more thoughtful response from them so i'm okay to register that is the theory uh the strong theory about this change in consumer behavior. And thank God we, we tested it um, because it is truly uh, gonna be an amazing, amazingly positive change for all of our clients. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we're in the business of making your business better, right? Like, so like, this is like so important that we were like, we can't charge, like we, we could have charged you money for this. Like we just could have, you know, because, you guys would not believe how much tech went behind getting this done. We'd spent a year on this, right? But it was such a big change. And I, you know, <laughs> it's funny. Like Barry is always like, this is a game changer. This is a game changer. And I agree with him, but you know me, I'm not like a, I'm a product guy, right? I don't say a game changer often. This is an industry changing experience. You know, are like, you saying I get excited too easily, or what, like what am I? How am I supposed to take that right now? I, I'm with you, Barry. I, I I find a new coffee drink. I'm like, oh man, this this game changer. This game changer. This toothpaste. That's a game changer. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When G yeah. says it, man. When G says it, actually means something. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Even, we haven't even touched on I'm the point sorry, that dude. not only a higher quality. I'm you, Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't even touched on the point. Not only the higher quality. This is a big deal. You're. Wait, hold on. G, 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 G. Gee, Gabe's trying to say something. Right. Let, 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 sorry. I don't want to point out one thing. We didn't touch on the fact, not only the higher quality lead answering more questions, think about how that's pairing with Raya right now as you guys are getting it. It's insane because anybody, okay, oh, we'll just start adding more questions over here. You start adding all of that information that's coming in and now it ties into behavior texts and there's more information and they're more pot committed. It's been mind blowing. That's why we have 6% within uh, 60 days are already A's and B's because they're committed. And then those behavior texts are coming in. We've never had... Well, that's, that's, that, right. Gabe, that's brilliant observation, right? And that's where we're still investing a lot in the AI because artificial intelligence, AI acts upon what we call big data, right? And the more data that we collect, more questions yields more data, the smarter our AI can be. So Gabe, that's a brilliant point. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, at this point, I know we're an hour in. I uh, want to turn this over to um, Barry and Gabe. So if you guys could share and start teaching people on, uh, you know, what what we've released with the heat map and the open house, that would be great. But before we get into that, um, let me just uh, open up my screen here and uh, guys sign up for the summit. <laughs> April 5th to the 7th. You're going to learn so much. It's ylobo.com. Oh God, we got to get an easier link for this, Howard. This is totally my bad. But uh, 
you know, just sign up for the summit. If you, you know, it's on our website. If you go to wildlobo.com, you will be able to sign up for the why, summit. Why is no one in this company using Bitly or something? Like, come on, guys. <laughs> I also posted it in the chat a few minutes back. All right, Michelle, yeah, let's, so get a, let's get a let's get a URL shortener here. Yeah, we're uh, we're a tech company that uh, you know has uh, never never heard of never heard of Bitly never heard of Bitly before. Of Bitly before. Yeah, never yeah. Heard of. Okay, all right, guys, can you uh, go? And by ahead the way, the answer to the question is yes. You can change Raya's name to anything you want. I mean, I like the sound of Howard. That's a good one. Uh, you know, you can change it to G, whatever you want. No, yes, you can change Raya uh, AI's name to anything you want. Travel. All right, let's go. All right, let's so go. this is, uh, if you go to your um, your branded website, after the word, or after .com, just put forward slash heat map. It's going to load a tool similar to what uh, you do when you're doing an open house. So you just type, so this is my branded site, buyingva.com forward slash heat map. Good news, you do not need to have admin access to do this. You don't need mission control. So when you're talking to a homeowner on the phone, you're working your leads and they say, yeah, I got a home. Hey, do you mind if I send you a list of buyers that are looking for a home similar to yours? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Did you want me to text it or email it, right? So this is the parameters. This searched my database instantly, found 2,200 people in my follow-up boss. This is the Facebook API. When I run an ad, you type in your database size and then you, you can do a custom background if you want. You can change this verbiage if you want. And then you just hit create buyer heat map. You can print this, you can save it as a PDF. This is where the house is. This is the real map, okay? And this is my follow-up boss. Yeah, let me, make a point here. let me make a point here, Barry, because the response is always like, Okay, great, Barry. You have a hundred and forty-four thousand person database, and I have a fourteen thousand person database, right? I have the opposite problem. Nobody's going to believe I have twenty-two hundred right, buyers. That, that's right. That's right. So if you nope. have a fourteen thousand database, then you can say, you know, do the math. You could say I have two hundred and twenty-seven buyers for your home, which is much more believable. Even if you had a 1400 person database, you could say, I have 27 buyers for your database for your, and here they are, right? Right. But right. The competition is not coming with this list showing them any buyers, not showing them any actual competition has the same happen. letter this, that they always say, I have a buyer for your home, right? Versus. And this. actually that's what we say. We say, look, everybody says they have buyers. Let me show you mine. And let me tell you guys, I have done this for million dollar properties and we only had five and i said i have five let me show you my five it doesn't matter okay you got too many you bring them down you got too, too little you bring them up the idea here is we're a visual society and the fact that i can show them a heat map with a real map view i mean look you zoom out and it just gets you, you can zoom in you can zoom out you can send them a link and and then we go on. Gabe, do you want to? I'm doing all the talking here. You you want to no, share anything? That looks like a COVID, similar, COVID I mean. heat map there, Barry. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, very similar. I mean, for years, we'd go in and have to pull a report that didn't look anything like this and talk about, you know, ask everybody, hey, are you interviewing agents for this? And most of the time they're yes. Has anybody else shown you their list of active and hot buyers? Of course, I always know. Now you have it. You can pull it live. You can put it in. You can you can have this on your iPad wherever you want. Interact with it. And then the other thing is I love is you're actually now showing them your marketing plan, right? As you scroll down, it's coming in showing your reach based on that address, how many people can be marketed to, how many people you can get this in front of, versus the typical agent just posting on their Facebook. And then I believe on the next page it even goes into the different uh, different targeting demographics. Uh, that are available that Facebook will allow and start uh, marketing to. So you can actually, again, instead of just talking about having buyers or just talking about what you're going to do marketing, you can literally show them actual numbers. And the great thing about this new version of this, the heat map versus the seller report, is anybody can do this. And I saw this popping in on the questions. It's your branded site, like Barry is showing you, it's just whatever your branded site is, dot com or your branded site forward slash heat map. So if you have dot net, whatever, just forward slash heat map. And literally all you do is put in the property characteristics and hit submit. It takes 15 seconds to create one of those reports. And this on, that's uh, exactly right. And so what this is right here, unique marketing, this is a diva listing rocket. So I can, I can go into mission control. I can click a button and I can run an ad for $65 and uh, they're going to create a custom video for my listing. 
And uh, they're going to send me a detailed marketing report that we designed that comes to you after you run the Diva listing rocket that shows the homeowner, look what I did for you. Look at how many people are engaging with my content. That's what this is over here on the left. And then on the right, because we, we, you know, I train my agents, tell the homeowner, everybody you talk to is going to tell you they're going to put your home on Facebook. But Facebook is deprioritizing, uh, minimizing organic reach. They want paid reach. I've hired a best-in-class digital marketing firm, that's why Lopo, to market my listings for you. This best-in-class digital marketing firm is going to reach 181,000 active shoppers through targeted Facebook video ads versus just sharing it. So this is what this is, guys. This, the seller report became a nail in the coffin for us when we started going on listing appointments. This is the next iteration. And my agents are in follow up boss or whatever CRM you're on. And the homeowner's like, yeah, send it. They grab the heat map quickly. And now the, the, the volume of buyers I have is a part of prospecting. It's not just when you're on a listing appointment. Yeah. And so and, this is a really and, and big guys, deal. I, I'm, <laughs> it's so funny. I turn off my video for a second. I can't turn it back on anymore. Sure, he's got the power. But it is just your website slash heat map. That's it. It's not really easy to get site, to. Your branded site. I, your, I've had people. Your branded brand. site. Your branded site slash heat map. That's it. And you can choose whichever agent you want to kind of create. Yeah. And it creates a link that you can, <laughs> once again, do bit.ly on because it's a bit long. And <laughs> you can print it out. Yep. Our turn quick, I know there are a couple, uh, a couple uh, questions. on That has also been formatted. So when you go into your browser and hit print, it's been formatted. So you can print it out if you want to take a hard copy versus PDF on your iPad or something like that. And I know we're over. Yeah, and some of you to are going to your search site. Don't go to your search site. This is your branded site. Right. Yep. Search, it's not your branded site. Or not I'll do a quick update to the open house tools. One of the probably most underutilized tools that we have. Guys, I want to show you an update that's been made to that. So anybody that's doing an open house, I'm just going to grab an MLS number here. Similar to the heat map, you're going to go to your, your branded site. Ours is corehomesearch.com slash open hyphen house. All right. Anybody can do this. Does not have to be an admin. All we're doing here. And this, had, this part has not changed. I'm going to show you what's updated in a second. Put in the MLS number. Whatever team member is doing this and going to do the open house, they can select who it is. Hit create link. All right. This is where the change has, has been made. There used to be a form right on the side. Uh, people would print this out. People would have to, or use it on their iPad, type out. It's giving you this full screen option and it's automatically creating a QR code. What's great about this is that you can have this set up on a laptop or an iPad, just up stationary when people are walking in. They don't have to touch anything. You don't have to have a pen. You don't have to have <clears throat> Wi-Fi. You can have this pulled up ahead of time. All they do is use their cell phone. They can scan this QR code and they can register for the information. Scripts we're using, welcoming them coming in. Hey, Barry, uh, thanks for coming by. Are you with your agent by chance today? Most of them are not. Perfect. Hey, uh, just so you have full details and the homeowners have asked, just so we know who's been through the home. You mind scanning this QR code? Let us know who's been through. In addition, because we can't put all the photos on a flyer, uh, it's going to give you all the uh, pictures, all the details on this home right onto your phone. What's great yeah. is they're registering. <clears throat> they're going into your CRM. It's on their mobile device, so they're now logged in. If for some reason that's not working, they can still click on that device, iPad, uh, whatever, laptop, answer these questions. All these questions, if you have not customized this, are customizable for your open house page. All right. The other thing that we're doing on this, uh, we take the same QR code just to kind of share one of our little tips and tricks. We're also taking the QR code uh, if they want a, a flyer and putting it right on the flyer. So now if they are going around, that QR code is right on the flyer. Uh, you can hand this out, have them scan it. It's taking them to the same exact spot so that they can register. And again, these leads are automatically going into your CRM. It's getting assigned to the agent that, you, that, that did the open house form that's creating it, the one that's shown here putting it into the CRM and they're getting sent the listing and put on a dynamic listing alert of homes that are similar. So we've taken all the steps out of that process from having to create a QR code or do any of that, or having somebody have to touch your devices, still the exact same link, your domain forward slash open hyphen house, but all of the work's been taken out of it for you. So if you're not utilizing this tool, highly recommend going over this in your sales meeting, huddle, whatever it is, have all your agents using this 
<clears throat> and that heat map. That's the only thing that's going to add, Barry. We're not even only using it on listing appointments, that heat map. Buyers are pulling it up also or our agents for buyers to see how much demand, what's going on, how many people might in that area might be looking for homes like that to help them understand demand. So we're actually showing that heat map to our buyers as well. Yeah. And, and guys, if it's not working for you, email support at willowbo.com. I mean, it's probably just that you're not entering the right link. Uh, but if it is actually something that's broken, we can go fix it for you. So I'm just letting you guys know. Um, just email support at wellable.com. Two, two things, um, G and, and Gabe. Uh, when you try to print the open house tool, um, can you? did you do that? Is that how you got that flyer? Because there is a mechanism uh, where, can you go ahead and go back to the open house tool and click file print? I believe it reorients everything Let so that you can just take this, you know, for those of you that are in an area that don't have Wi-Fi access or, or whatever, you know, this, this, can very quickly, I believe, digitize or, or you know, basically take this digital process, you can just put it on a piece of paper. Um, and the, gee, the open house link, is, people are asking, it's your, your branded site.com yep. yep. forward slash open dash house. That's it. So just like the heat map. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and guys, just, I know we're already over, although this is somebody like did all the talking shorter, in the beginning. I don't know. Yeah. This Who's... is one of our shorter webinars. I, and, you know, it was action packed. I'm sorry, guys. I had kombucha before this and I've never had kombucha before. And I just yeah, got I don't even know what that hyped. is. I went super fast, but um, this is on ylopo.com slash media. Within the next couple of hours, you will be able to watch all of this. Hey, G, though, which, if somebody asked this, I think it's a great suggestion. Can we just highlight the new stuff that's available or if people need to sign up? Just a quick recap. Yes. What's coming and what they need to sign up for. Oh, yes, totally. Well, I'll, I'll get that email out to you guys. Yeah, and G, G uh, so yeah, another great comment. Someone says, before we end this call, please say the new product lines again. Summary, a summary. Summary. Okay, summary, guys. Google LSA, sign up for it. Email support at wellabo.com. Most of you are on it because we got 1,200 clients on it. But if you're not, you should sign up for it. It's $99. We do all the calling for you. I will send you a link to register for Raya Live. You should totally do it. So that's number one. Number two is dynamic registration. And this is a clarification point. I apologize. My product manager just to email me. Um, end of Q1, everyone will have dynamic registration, right? We're rolling it out periodically over time, but there's a bunch of improvements that needs to happen there, but you're going to get it by the end of Q Q1. Uh, um, I think I, t I think I told everyone was in it by the end of the month. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was totally Howard's fault. Um, and I, I wonder where I got the end of the month factoid from. I don't know, probably me. <laughs> so um, then, uh, so that's number two. Um, <clears throat> click to call is coming in the June timeframe. Uh, I will enroll more of you guys when we get there. The uh, heat map. Is so wait, click to call. Everyone. Like I'm a consumer. And I'd like to speak to an agent like right now. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Go yes. ahead. And it's going through our call center. That's the thing. That's great. You know, 80, 85% of those calls are junk, right? They're rentals, all this kind of stuff. You don't want to deal with those. So we just trans hot transfer all of the, the leads that matter. So anyways, so that's coming. Um, the heat map is available today, right now. If you can't get it, email support at wellopa.com. We'll fix it for you. And um, also uh, the open house registration tool is all done, right? So those are, you know, kind of Q, right now today releases slash end of Q1, some of those small things you're gonna get. And also Chase uh, on our chat came up with another product for us, G. It's called Com. Kombuji, not kombucha, <laughs> but kombuji. I didn't I even know kombucha had caffeine, honestly. I, I, I'm didn't. I don't even know I'm, what this I'm is. Like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sure it does, but anyway. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> maybe it's just me. <laughs> it's alcohol, someone said. Yeah. There is a lot on it, yeah. Open yeah. house registration, Scott, is your, your, your branded website. So a lot of these, like the open house tool and the um, heat map, are all going to be don't don't type search dot in your website. It's just your website dot com or dot net, whatever your website is, forward slash heat map or for the heat map, 
open dash house. We did this to make it easy so that all your agents and everybody can access it very quickly on the fly. You don't have to sign up for this. This should be live on your site. There's nothing yeah. you have to sign up for. And it's, it's actually anywhere. been on your site for it's, like- it, You don't have to pay anything for it. It's already live. Yep. Someone just told me this is alcohol. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. There's trace, there's trace amounts. Oh, trace amounts. Okay. Trace amounts. All right, cool. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Howard, any last words? Because that's, uh, look, that's I think, it. Look, I, I think every single time we do one of these webinars, G, what's our, what's our, you know, we get on the phone right after the webinar, like, oh, that was great. Like, but what's our takeaway, right guys? What's our takeaway when we do these? I'll tell you my number one takeaway. What's, what, what's your guys takeaway when we do these webinars? I'll, I'll, jump stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. I'll jump in. Here's the takeaway that I want to share with everybody. And Barry touched on this. Weblevel is not going to stop moving fast and stop innovating, right? Do your best. Hit these webinars. Come to office hours on Wednesdays. Come to get with us. As, spend as much time with us as possible. Because I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm still feel like the new guy, and it's almost a year in, and I'm still trying to figure out how the hell to keep up, right? It's just spend the time to invest to share with your your team. If you're just learning about open house tools and things like that, there's so many tools that you don't have. We have to invest in the tech and the tools that we're paying for because there's so much available that's not getting used right now. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what we already have that we've improved and what's coming. So invest the time to learn and how to use for you and your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and guys, I mean, you know, like digital marketing and changing at the speed of light, right? Like, I mean, just the way it is. Like, um, and you know, that's honestly, you know, this is why you're with Wailopo, like marketing is in our dna you know if you're with other companies maybe real estate is their dna crm is their dna like marketing is our entire organization product to marketing this is all we think about right so you know it is changing and i'm sorry about that but like i mean we're just reacting to the universe and when we see an opportunity we're going to go for it so it's a hundred percent you have to be invested in learning now that being said, that learning is 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 like you know fifty percent on you and fifty percent on us, right? And as I mentioned, we're like restructuring our account management team completely to service you guys better and train you better. And by the way, guys, we have a whole training department now. So if you email support at wellable.com and you're like, I need to get trained, my team needs to get trained, we've got a whole training department, you know. So. Like just expect big changes there. We apologize. We're growing like crazy. And so it just kind of support is something that just needs scale, right? But we're 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 gonna crush it this year on that front. That's like our big focus. Yeah. So that's that's my takeaway. Look, you know, just pay attention to the Wadopo success community on Facebook because we post everything we're gonna do there. Check the events page. Kiwi does a great job of posting everything. Communication is just an issue. Like, I can't tell you guys how many times, like, look at just even on this webinar today, people like, Summit? You're having a Summit? When's Summit, right? <laughs> you know, and we email, we text, we, we, we use intercom, right? As you, as you log into your dash, right? Like, we try everything and every single time, we're like, webinar? You guys did a webinar? I didn't know you did a webinar, right? Um, so, so I'm not, you know, you know, diverting or diverting blame, right? Like we, that the challenge is on us to make sure everyone is in the know, but I'm telling you, if you want to be in the know, like make sure you're checking the web level success community, because it's all getting posted there. If you get email, I know you get 10,000 emails. I get 10,000 emails, check your web level emails. Um, and yeah, like, so we're, we're doing our best to communicate. Yeah. Yeah, and Gabe and I are very active in YSC. So if you, you, you if you guys tag up Gabe or I in YSC and say, "What about this?" Like, we're going to respond. Um, yeah. And so you know, do that. The events section in YSC, and uh, we're specialists. We're marketing specialists, and you know, uh, we all want to just kind of get into a rhythm and do the same thing that we've always done. But that's not the consumer. <laughs> okay, the consumer changes like constantly and COVID changed all of them. Um, quarantine changed all of them. And so we're adapting for you and it's working out to your benefit. Um, and, and, you know, I think, gee, wouldn't you like it if we could just make something that crush and like, just keep, keep it that way forever. Like that would make your job easy. Right. I mean, like, 
<laughs> oh my god that would be a dream yeah 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 yeah, yeah. whatever we're but, all playing in, in mark zuckerberg's world right so what are we going to do <laughs> well anyway guys another great webinar my big conclusion is we just need to keep doing these we need to do more of these right because your guy's success is the only way we stay successful as a company we are your outsourced badass digital marketing team we i tell you i have millions of dollars of payroll we invest millions of dollars in in r d and you have that like we are your we are your outsourced marketing department right and you don't have to worry about staying on the cutting edge of all this stuff you have to worry about learning it you've got to worry about using it you got to dig in with us squeaky wheel gets the oil you got to go to office hours you got to get on the attend these webinars you got to go to the success page you got to ping others make noise right but if you dig in, I promise you take your business to the next level. We appreciate you. We love you. We are going to see you soon on the next webinar. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye.